Hello there. Well, I'm Natasha Venter. I am an intuitive medium. I'm also a um, energy seer and I just, I understand past lives, future lives, different dimensions. And I want to bring a perspective to you today. And if these are longer videos that I'm going to start doing, because uh, there's so much things that are coming forward. And are you getting insights? I'm calling them downloads, but for language, I'm going to call them insights. Oh, I never thought of life that way. Oh, I never thought I could do that, right? So these insights, these insights are great opportunities. Like I had the insight, reality or expectations. You're going to be seeing a little bit of my kitten here. This is Rocky. This is Rocky. Rocky is my new familiar. He just came to me. And this is my reality. <laughs> I have no expectations for this little boy, right? How can I have expectations for a kitten? But many times we do, right? Many times we do. And I can have wishes. I can have wants. Like I really want him to go scratch on the scratching post. And play with the balls that he has, the, the round little balls or the mices that he has or whatever those things are, right? And, um, you know, the kitten balls. That when we're going forward, we're going to have to be careful what our expectations are compared to our realities. Sorry, I kind of got distracted with my kitten. There's the reality. My expectation was to make a professional video, right? Not going to happen in my world. You're always going to find me being perfectly imperfect and um, very, I hope you find me um, uh, real. I'm very authentic in my own way and I've been told that many a times. Coming into this new world, expectations are real or reality. Now, like I was having a conversation with my husband the other day, and he was saying that, you know, I don't know if we can stay in this house because we're going to be older and we're going to have, you know, the financials of the, the, um, of, you know, the older world, right? Which is less than, and we have to limit what we spend and all that kind of stuff, right? Well, I, and the words came out of my mouth. I said, honey, I can't make decisions out of lack, lack of, or restrictions anymore. Wow, what a statement, right? Cannot make decisions out of lack then or expectations or, or less thens. We're living in a world where we are in a matrix and quantum physics and energy. Energy conducts energy, right? So what energy are you creating? We all have people around us, love everyone for their journey. We all have somebody around us who brings us down. Like I was watching a show the other, the other day about vampires and it's a spoof. And, um, and uh, there was an energy vampire living with the vampires, sucking the life out of them. <laughs> what a statement, right? We have somebody around us all the time that are... Vampires of some sort, right? Including me, including you, including us. We all have moments where we all kind of like, you know, we are human. What is the reality though? How are we conducting our energy? How is the energy conducting around us? Am I responsible for the energy that I bring to a room? Oh, what a statement. Am I responsible for the words I say? Yes, we all are right? We all are, including me. So expectations and realities play with the reality. Like my kids said the other day, he says, you know, and I was saying this earlier in the video here about how, you know, he pre-planned his past self pre-planned how he was going to take Christmas decorations out of an attic, right? He put things in specific places and, you know, lighter boxes in awkward places to pull things out of and the heavier boxes where it was easy to pull out of. He says, I was so proud of my past self for how I set myself up for success. What a moment we're in right now. 
We just went through a full moon, Mercury in retrograde, the solstice, a new moon at the beginning of the, of the Mercury in retrograde. Now we're going into a new year. These energies and doorways aren't about 2024. They've been about how they've been setting us up for the years before. And wow, this last year was a big one for that. We've had so many huge planetary shifting us as humans. We are energies. We are conductors of who we are. We are negotiating our world, right? But many of us have been dumbed down. We've been taught to dumb down our society, our foods, our um, the energies around us, the buildings we're in, the homes we set ourselves up in, the things we've been taught with words and beings in our TVs and our, our realities of our homes, right? Who are we wanting to be? That is the energy that we can step into, and it takes practice. Pra it takes practice and realizing the reality we're in, not the expectation that we're sitting in. It's expectations versus realities. Our expectations are that we're going to keep the world around us the way we want it. It's comfortable. It's easy to stay where we're at, right? That's the expectation. The reality is we can change whatever we want. But it takes the mindset to change. It takes the emotions to change. It takes the understandings of our brains to change. Are you willing to? I am. I've already been doing it. Boy, my world has changed since I've shifted my understanding of how to negotiate, not manipulate, but negotiate the energies around me. Being kind, being aware. It's kind of like somebody who had um, who's colorblind and putting gla um, glasses on so that they can see all the colors of the world. Wow, right? What is the world we have in front of us? The abilities to see. It's time to get out of drama and trauma and see that we can step above it. Like I was telling a family member the other day. If we center ourselves, we can do the negotiation of the world around us. I had three kids um, and four adult, one, two, three, four, five, six adults in the house, right? Did I get off centered with them? A little bit. But I was centered in myself and I did not let them be manipulated. And my husband, who's now wonderfully 11 years sober, in reality, sometimes goes into a dry drunk. How am I supposed to negotiate someone else's reality, right? My calm, understanding, I don't have to be with it. I can walk away, respect it, negotiating. I hope this helps. Longer videos on my YouTube channel, Natasha Venter AC. Blessings, angeliclarifications.com.